Murdoch, I ain't gonna let you die, man. You my friend. Murdoch, come on. I was just playing about that crazy bit. Come on, buddy. It's all right, VA. It's gonna be all right. Grab the light. It's too weak to be moved. We haven't got any choice. I'll have to get that slug out. And everything it took in with it. Hannibal, if you're not careful, you're gonna wind up killing him. He knows what he's doing. Vietnam was a great teacher. We haven't got much time. Decker's got this whole area covered. It won't take him long to find us. Less than five miles from here. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh. There's an old mine entrance here. Back off. Smith, it's Colonel Decker. You're surrounded. I want you and Peck and Baracus and Miss Baker, if she's in there, to come out with your hands up. You have 15 seconds. A wounded man in there. He needs immediate medical attention. Move in. Well, looks like you won, Colonel. I'd say that was inevitable, wouldn't you? I want this man handcuffed. Turn around inside. What's the matter with Peck here? He's got some bad powder burns. The gun exploded in his face. And he's got a shoulder wound. Real bad. Check him, Sergeant. I'm not in the mood for any tricks. In pretty bad shape, sir. He needs blood. Have this man moved to the A-team van. Fight your way out. After you, Lieutenant Colonel Smith. I got that, Corporal. Make sure the van doors are open. Colonel, if you don't mind, we'd like to ride with Face. He may not make it. We'd like to be there just in case. Put him in the van.
I'll drive. You watch the prisoner. Okay. All right. 